Hello everyone, welcome! This is Three Scary Games. And yeah, we will play three in the horror games. Uh, be advised, there are uh, suicide uh, in these games, so according to that, if you are sensitive to this, then, uh, then of course don't watch it. Uh, and well, let's get started with our first game. This is Forgotten School from Azal Game Studio. It's an indie horror game and we will play it today, so let's get going. Let's see. Oh, there is everyone. I better hurry or, or I will be late for the class. Oh, wow. Okay. I can run. And uh, yeah, we are looking through the lens of a VHS tape. Let's go. It's pretty nice, I mean. Hmm. Sometimes uh, in games like this, uh, it has that really old VHS aesthetic. And I mean, it's pretty fun. Okay, so uh, I have to go up there. Should I use? Oh, uh, no. What? Oh, I can record, but then it is not a VHS tape what I'm looking for, uh, looking through. So I guess I have to go up the stairs there. Um go around okay okay so this is a walking simulator and uh, there is a readme file when you download the game and they say that it's like a pretty good horror game so <laughs> let's go let's see forgotten school Okay, anything, anything here, nothing, I cannot uh, jump, but, oh, I have to find the library first, the end, what, he's Japanese, but I don't know any Japanese, so, well, okay, um, it is a walking simulator. Whoa. What's that? Hate yourself? No, thank you. I love myself. Alone. Oh, there is a butterfly here. So through the camera, you can see other stuff than reality itself. It's a trash can. Hopeless. El Hopeless, they are watching you. Who? Idiot. This camera is mean. Uh, uh, who is watching me? No one. Okay. Static, void. They always watch you. Lazy. Worthless. Nobody. Nothingness. Um Okay, that's really nice. So I can use batteries and interact with R, I think. But I cannot do anything with the with the static thingy. Am I right? I have to check it. Um, R to pick up and use battery. Oh, okay. So I cannot really interact with the... with the thing.
motorcycle outside. Beautiful. So, I have to go down, I guess. Let's go down. Get down, get down. Get down, get down. <gasps> that is a huge battery. Okay, so I picked it up. Uh, let's go to the library then. Shall we? Another battery. What are you? Eh? Uh, okay, that's that's reassuring. Are you? No, you are not. Okay, you are not real. And what am I doing here in the library? Nine, nine, nine. Apple. Yes, come in. Come in. Who is it? Oh, that's a skeleton. Hey there. Damn. Okay, um... What are you? Bali... Failure. Huh. Okay. Um, anything else here? Why am I here? Uh, oh. Every... Am I dead? Damn, this is loud. <laughs> okay. Moral of the story, be kind. The end. Well. Okay. This was pretty... Pretty short. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess it was a fun game. There is nothing, nothing to do here. Like, 20 seconds? But average play that Playtime is around 10. Oh, it says that average playtime is around 15 to 20 minutes. That wasn't. That wasn't the case. Like 7 minutes? Let's see. Uh, what do we. missed? Okay, start. Where is everyone? I better hurry. Okay, so. Anything that I can see through the camera when I'm out here. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay. Oh. What's there? No one knows. No one knows what? Oh! Invisible wall! I cannot go through there. No use. Um... Oh, I am out of batteries? The battery time on this camera is really, really low. Okay. Uh, I guess we should go up now? Huh. So... There is not much to do in this game. Hmm, maybe it was uh, made for a game jam? 
uh, like a short horror story with... Uh, it's sad that it has a deeper meaning. I guess the bullying trope is here. Okay. Nice. Uh, look down! I'm not hitting yourself. Uh, I'm myself. What? And I... Oh, this isn't just a shadow butterfly. This is a real butterfly. Okay. Um, any... Nope. I don't wanna go into... That room or something. Okay. So why are we going down to the... Library and the... First aid... Room. What is that room called? Uh, not first aid, but... Hmm... Ugly. You are ugly. Dumb. No, you. Lifeless. Eh, don't bully me. Okay. Okay. What is... What are those? Were those there? The whole time. Those are eyes, right? Yeah. Oh my god, you have a beautiful eye. Mm, yummy. That tastes good. Don't listen to the camera thingy. Oh, they always watching you. Mm, lick those eyeballs. Lick them. And... Don't listen to the... Don't, don't listen to the weird words. So we are going through... What? Was there an actual... Like, mouse here? Hi there. You are just... Yeah, this is... Rigged up. That skeleton. That was like... Not really crucified, but... Is everyone dead? I'm not sure. Oh! Okay. They laugh... You did this. Uh, no. No, thank you. No. Moral of the story, be kind. Okay, so it was a pretty, like, short game. Okay. So, our next game is The Hospital. I have no idea who made this. Uh, I forget. But, let's go and start. In the credits, we will figure out who made this. Okay, new game. Best experience with headphones. Of course. I have headphones. Adjust the brightness using the bar above until you can barely see the crooks on the door. Oh, damn. Okay. Because it's going for YouTube and OBS loves to... Uh, Dim it down. Uh, I will go with the max. Oh! <gasps> Oop. Oop. Look at them toes! When the virus got me, I was hoping I would be among the majority who would get only mild symptoms and recover quickly. But my condition grew worse day by day. I checked into the hospital, into this hospital last week, barely able to breathe. I paid a lot to get a private room, and I was lucky they managed to find one. There are no vacant rooms in this hospital across the country, as the pandemic wreaks havoc. It's a pandemon pandemonium out there. So many sick, so many dying. I feel like I've been... Uh, 
I've become a number a statistics. Okay. I think I'm growing sicker. I feel faint and weak all the time. Yesterday, all night, they had to increase my oxygen intake. I heard them talking about having to put me under to... Put me under to intubate me if my condition gets worse. What if I don't make it? It would be a horrible way to die, alone in this room. I was never a believer in God, or in heaven, or in hell. I wonder what happens to a person after they die. I've never really stopped to think about it na until now. I guess I was too busy living life and chasing shadows to think about death. Um, I'm feeling weak. So weak. I think I will sleep now. I can barely breathe. Oh, damn. Yeah. Oh, hello there. Bathroom door. I'm up? How am I up on my feet? I can't remember getting out of bed. Hint, walk around using VASD keys. Yes, observe your surroundings by clicking on objects in the world. Uh, the game saves automatically. You don't need to save the game to resume where you left off. So... I guess we are dead. My bed. It looks as if it was, it was recently made. When did I get off? Who came in and made it? I don't remember any of it. The rest of the room looks neat too. As if it, this room was recently vacant. Vacated. I spent days on this bed. Struggling to breathe. It feels weird to be up and about. Yeah. This chair. Chair for visitors. Except being in quarantine, I had no visitors. What is this? Oh, it looks like damaged. Maybe? Is it damaged? No, it's just a port. Uh, it's silent. I remember the doctor and nurses hook me up to this thing. It's infernal beeping. The hiss of pumping oxygen. It's one of those terrifying things in a hospital. All the machines whose uh, purpose you don't know. I mean, it's keeping you alive, monitoring. Uh, bathroom door. The bathroom door appears to be locked. Okay. Whoa, Jesus Christ. That person out there. Maybe a doctor. I need to find out what's going on. So let's go after her. Hmm. Where is everybody? When I checked in here, these corridors were full of activity. All day, all night, filled with nurses and doctors and patients. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we... We are dead. We died and our soul just roaming around. Uh, nurse station. When I checked in here, struggling to breathe, there were two uh, harried but kindly nurses sitting behind this desk, answering calls, filling papers, welcoming patients. They sure had their hands full. Interesting. Door. Uh, no luck. Didn't these doors open out to the lobby with elevators? That would have been my way out. Except it looks like I can't leave this way. I should probably find another way out. <gasps> Lady! Please, come back. I want to have some directions. Which way is heaven? Locked. That's odd. There are no room numbers on the door. I'm pretty sure I'd seen room numbers when I checked in. Ah. Lady. Please. Locked. Locked. 
Okay. Door. Let's go. Fire... Fire hydrant? No. What is that? Fire extinguisher. Jesus. English words come to my mind. Okay. Uh, which way is heaven, lady? Are these patient wards? Why are these deserted? There's got to be someone, a nurse or a doctor, who can help me and tell me what's going on. I'm sure that there are doctors and nurses somewhere in here. Oh, knock knock. Come in! Someone on the other side of this door? It came from this... Nope. Come in! Oh, hello there! This room looks like... Uh, what? This room looks just like the one I was in. But it's a mess. Hospital bed. How awful, there is some kind of stain. I guess the bed wasn't cleaned after the last patient departed. <gasps> it's my fairy TV show! That figure. Huh? The sound came from out there. Yeah, it came from out there. I think these uh, rooms, the figure I saw on the TV, it remind me of. No, it can't be. I must be imagining things. Maybe that's this. Uh, that's what this whole thing is. Some lucid dream I'm having while my body lies in some kind of coma. I think that woman is someone who passed away, our loved one, and she's coming back to uh, show the way. At least I hope. And these corridors looks like oh, not an ending. Oh, hello there! Lady! Please! Come over here. I wanna hug you. Why do you want to be so, so creepy? Okay, so maybe the doors that we can uh, go inside is, uh, is my room. Oh. Locked. Who shut the door? Uh, was that a corpse in there? Is this a dream? It's growing increasingly disturbing. I don't think this is a dream. And I really hope that is not a dead body. But it's a hospital, you know. Ah. Is someone toying with me? Am I being led? That figure I saw. It's our... I don't know. Mom? Sister? Relative? It can be her. This is a dream, a nightmare, rather, in which I'm trapped. How can it be her? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that... Uh, maybe... Oh? She's just leading the way to heaven or hell? Uh, maybe. Maybe. <gasps> Oh my lord, what? How? How did I get here? I recognize this place. The furniture and the way they are arranged. This looks like the apartment uh, where we used to live. Except everything looks abandoned and gone to rot. There is something on the table here. Uh, hi there. So how are you doing? It can't be. It can't be her. I can't see her face, but I know uh, her anywhere. How is this possible? She's been dead for four years. Nia, is that you? This isn't... Nia, is that you? That familiar silence. How can be a silence familiar? This is some monstrous dream. Memories of those horrific events of four years ago are coming back to me. The doubt and guilt that have haunted me since. Could I s have saved her life? Uh, had I gone... Had I... What? Would I have saved her life? Had I do done things differently? Jesus Christ, that was a really hard 
to say. Uh, and at what cost? So we have like a guilt. I couldn't save you, Nima. I'm sorry for what happened, Nia. Only cold silence. What does she want? Oh my god. She was... I mean, she was pretty nice. She was pretty. Nia! I am going cra- am I going crazy? Or is this some fever dream seeded my- my past? Why my body lies wasting away on a hospital bed? I think we died and she's like, oh damn. Hey Nia. I remember this picture. We had taken it out by the beach. Just after yet another bitter fight. She was just 24, but... Uh, but by then she had already begun to show increasingly frightening signs of the mental illness that would later consume her. Uh, erotic violent shifts in temperament. Uh, brooding silence, fixed stares, and obsession with my whereabouts, self-harm. Damn. I tried to get her to get uh, help. She refused when I was when it was uh, clear she was becoming a danger to both of us. I ended our relationship, and then it got worse, a lot worse. The phone calls, the stalking, the threats, and finally I woke up one night to find her standing over my bed, staring at me, her dark eyes empty and unbearable, uh, and unreadable, oh, her mouth stretched in a chilling grin, and when I saw what she was holding in her hand, damn, that's messed up, that's really messed up, hello there, I mean, damn, this got a tad bit worse. What is this place? It's the hospital, but abandoned. No. No. Door. Let's go. Okay. Pop, pop, pop. Corpse. Who would abandon a dead body here? The stench here is terrible. I should move on. Yeah, I mean, you should move on. Like, mentally, physically. Doesn't budge. Okay. So I guess... Oh, Jesus! She is doing this. I don't know how. She's toying with me. I must fa I must find a way out of this nightmare. Yeah, I think we are dead, so damn. Guilt and such. Dead body? Dead body? Tickle the toes. Tickle the feetsies. Maybe we can tickle the dead up. What is this? Okay. Oh, you have a cute laugh, at least. Let's go. Here we are. Are those newspapers? Hmm. Newspapers. Door. Nia! Was it Nia? On that night, four years ago, when I woke up to find her standing over me, she was holding a knife. As I watched, she raised it and held it to her own throat. She said, I don't want to live without you. Uh, before she could hurt herself, I leaped at her, grappled the blade away and subdued her till the authorities have arrived. They put her way in an institute, a mental hospital, and a week later I got the terrible call. Damn. I mean, 
you cannot uh, like um you cannot feel that you could have done more uh oh no nia oh god why did you do it why did you have to go like this they told me what you have wrote on the note your last word What do you want from me, Nia? I did what I could. Why are you tormenting me? I mean, we saved her life once. With the knife. Uh, we cannot feel guilty. Um, I mean, that's not how it works, obviously. But we shouldn't feel guilty. Because of what happened. Nia, what do you want from me? I think... Uh, of that note you left the last words you ever wrote like I cannot leave it out to you, maybe you wrote I'm never going to let you go I know those words were meant for me is that what this is about? that if I'd done things differently perhaps being more compassionate you might still be alive? I mean, she had mental health issues, and as you described earlier, she was far gone into that uh, rabbit hole. So, I don't think... Yeah. But I mean, at least we can be together in death or something. I don't know. Or maybe we are not dead. Let's see. I'm back in my room. Where did I get here? Nia. The bed I was lying on, fighting for my life. Am I well? Am I well or am I still trapped in this nightmare? I think we are... We are not well. Chairs? No. So nothing new. Uh, do I dare go out there? What will I find? A, bu a bustling hospital? Smiling faces telling me I'm better and I can go home? Or shadowy halls haunted by my past? Am I in a coma trapped in a body that is wasting away while I suffer a fever dream? Uh, born of guilt? Or am I dead? And is this my afterlife? These dread halls and a tormented soul stalking me for all eternity? I mean, I will hope there is like smiling faces telling me. No, it was uh, the tormenting part. Damn. Okay. Ah, uh, chuckles. At least she have a really nice voice. Let's... I don't know. Let's look at the good part, maybe. Play VHS tape. So, welcome to the third game. This is the last stop, station 66. It would have been better if it would be 69, but... Well... Let's go! Play VHS tape. Press escape to pause the game. Okay. Boom. Press any key. But which is the any key? Oh, hi there. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. So somebody is sleeping, someone is standing, the girl. I don't know what we will do. Mm-hmm. 
This is a perfectly good game until here. Nothing much, just watching a camera slowly going through. <gasps> Ooh! Yay! And I can run, I can go. Very nice. There is the go there. Let's go. <gasps> Hello. Hello. Woman, step back and stay the hell out of away from me. Oh, she's smoking. But she has such a pretty face. Look at the feet. She has nice feet too. Okay. How are you doing? Street worker. I should quit my job. This place is a bloody mess. If I could, I would quit any day. Hey there. Anything? No? Let's see, this is the last station, 66. Hello? <gasps> Let's go! Will it stop? Hey, doggo. Okay. Oh, there is two doggos. <gasps> Ooh, German Shepherd. Hi there, little doggo. Alright. I understand. What the heck? Examine. I'm gonna be sick. Uh, bloody knife. Shouldn't touch this. Uh, Jesus Christ. That's a meat hook. Okay. Run! Uh, hello? Oh. I see. Worker guy. I, I have to... Leave. Open. Okay. I don't have the key. And the music is really loud. Look at. Is there any key? Dun 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 dun. Okay. So there was a meat hook guy. I cannot. Uh... No, I cannot go down. What's up, doggo? Um, can I have a key, please? Maybe there are keys on the dead body. He picked up the good work. At least it's nice, I guess. But make something more like a mural. Okay, where are we? We are standing there. Or there. Or there. Or there. What? Um. Examine. A bloody kitchen knife. Shouldn't put away. Rotate. Anything on it? No. What was that sound? Uh, key? Key? Any? Any key? I love how I go down. <gasps> Look at that! We can go there. Okay. We died. Press any key. Okay, so we... we died? Receptionist, Mr. Anders, we thought you were gonna show up. Glad to see you, please wait a while and the conductor sh uh, and the doctor should be ready to see you. The room is just down at the end of the hall. Thank you. Very nice. Okay. Open. I need to wait to my turn. How? I cannot sit down. Okay, very interesting. A bit choppy, but... Well... Oh, examine. 
Helping people focusing. Compat. Some tissues. I'm waiting. Okay, so is there like give me a ticket? Examine. Uh before operation. Nice. I didn't even rotate the other side. Oh, I totally missed some dialogue. Uh, Lorem Ipsum Doctor. Lorem, what? That's not English. Not even Hungarian. How would I read that? Examine. <gasps> Your luck. Read them. Gumfrey, go wide. Enjoy it. Ready for the holidays. The three. Should you get a real one or a fake tree? Crayola. Crayons. Beautiful. Oh. Crock potting. Natural cooking. Get lost, get wild, explore and discover. Ready to eat? Feed your need. Really nice. Color. Speak your vibe. What flocks your feathers? An honest look to into uh, a honest look to into yourself. What? Rainbow edition. That ruffles my feathers definitely. So I should touch everything. Uh, examine. Farm life. How to tell a horse or a donkey? From the mouth, speaking the truth. Hmm. Well, you can definitely tell apart a horse and a donkey. Because the donkey says, he uh, he uh, and the horse says, nee ho 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 ho. It's pretty interesting, right? <laughs> okay. City lights, tonight, what will you do? Where will you go? Enjoy yourself. Tomorrow, what will you do? Where will you go? Enjoy yourself. Get lost, get wild, explore and discover. I feel like they uh, have the same, like, what is that? Like journalists? <laughs> Thoughts. Road, row, beauty. Oh, <laughs> road. Broad, raw beauty, the glamour issue, uh, figuring, amazing is amazing, Im amazing is as amazing does, damn girl, you are rocking that silver paint on your face, uh, crockpotting, eating out, I almost read that like fatting out, I'm like, what? I am, but how do you know? When is too much food? Enough food for the family. Food. Hello there. Okay. Um, anything. Are those gold bars? Life planner. Um, Loren Ipsum. Yeah. Oh, hi there. I am right here. Ooh. E F B Z T O Z L P E D P A E F W P E C F D E D F C Z Doctor, my my eyes, my eyes are very bad. I cannot even see. E F B T O Z. That's all. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Hey there. Okay, so... Oop. Hello. Anything here? That's a really interesting thing. <gasps> Look! The skeleton! From the first game. It feels better. It came to the doctor. And... Let's see. Anything else here? Nothing. Okay. Hello, doctor. Good evening, Mr. Anderson. 
I am sorry, I got a lot of reports to fill in at this moment, but I am glad you could make it. How have you been holding up? Any new events or feeling something? To be honest, I've been experiencing my blackouts more frequently lately. I can't remember if I visited my friend earlier today or not. It's like I'm losing my grip on reality. I see. I'm sorry to hear this. Have you been taking the pills provided and followed the schedule? Are you... are the hallucinations back? I don't know. Are you real? I won't lie, I thought this was a dream. I was hit by a train in the subway and chased by disfigured murderers there too. It was horrible. I wanted to report the incident to the police, but somehow something happened. Uh, I'm sorry to hear this, Mr. Anderson, but I can assure you this right uh, now is not a dream. I must say the blackouts and hallucinations are something. I want to stay at home and start treatment and we will get back to you on your schedule, unless there is more. Please visit the receptionist for a new prescription of your medication. Thank you. I hope I will feel better soon. Uh, until our next appointment. Goodbye. Goodbye. So, with these indie games, I always like uh, uh, see or, well, figure locked. What's going on here? So, I always feel like uh, they, they have to put in the mechanic that uh, it's only going if so the text is only going when I click it because I feel like uh, well oop, oop. I feel like I don't read that fast maybe I am the only one but let's see this isn't a reality okay interesting Let's go. Bum, 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 bum. Locked. What's going on here? Uh. Anybody? What? Oh damn! Oh my God! This is the eye from the first game. I knew this was the skeleton. The same skeleton. The door is locked. I knew this was the same skeleton. He came here, visit the doctor, the demon attached to the skeleton got the eyes. Okay, the door is locked. It is locked. Um, bloop. Poke the eye, poke the eye. Okay, um, please. The door is locked. So what should I do? Uh... Hello? Please let me out? Let me out! Boom, boom, boom. Hmm. Q? Q? The door is still locked. Okay, but please. It's very scary, but let me out. Um, anything? I cannot interact with anything. Is this the end? Um, use the dispenser? Oh, wait. There is a key! Picked up security card, picked up key. Very, very spooky. Nothing here. Okay, so open. What's going on here? Can I go in here? No. Can I go in here? Um. Keypad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Damn.
Damn, boy. Where did you find this? Are we like hallucinating and murdering everyone? Press any key. Subway Killer Court. On June 6th, 1996, a young man suffering from the delirious thoughts was found to be the murderer involved in multiple subway murders. After the police investigated his apartment, he arrived late one night for his appointment at his psychiatrist on June 6th and explained he had fallen asleep in the subway after visiting his friend. He explained how he woke up at the station named Station 66 where two disfigured murderers chased him. He told the police that last thing he remembers is being hit by a train and walking up in the uh, waking up in the waiting room of the doctor's office. Damn. Okay. I I see. I see. I understand. So, this was the three scary games. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe as always. It helps the channel. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a nice day. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, all the games will be in the description. And yeah, thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.